Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up and reset your sub goals. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get started, let's go over to streamlabs.com and log in with our Twitch. Once we're logged in with our Twitch, on the left hand side, there will be a streaming tools tab. You can just click this and go to my overlays. Okay, once we're in here, I already have a sub goals set up here as one. We're going to do one from scratch so I can walk you through all of the basics. So over here on the right hand side where it says new overlay, we're going to create a new overlay for this here so that if you need to edit it and change it, it'll be a lot easier to access. If you put it in, uh, let's say your normal overlay tab, it'll be lost in a bunch of different stuff and tabs that you might not be able to find what you're looking for. So we're going to create a new one and make it dedicated for sub goals. So just click that new button and let's get started. Okay, on this here page, it's going to ask you for your overlay resolution. I suggest leaving this in 1080p as I find the quality just perfectly good at 1080p. And if you place it somewhere in this here canvas, it'll be in that exact spot if you have it full screen. So this here makes it a lot easier just to incorporate it right in. You can size it and place it wherever you want in here and on your overlay inside of OBS. So that helps quite a bit. You may want a 1440 depending if you want a little bit better of a quality, but I find that no difference you can use a custom size in 720p it doesn't really matter uh, the 1080p is just usually the best fit for your canvas and if your canvas is uh, 1440p i would use that one as well so select your 1080p or 1440p and click start now this here step is pretty easy you can add widget here with the add widget or you can go down to this here plus sign and click it and it will bring up the same menu uh, this menu is going to have alerts uh, engagement labels static custom uh, charity, seasonal, and streaming tools. In labels, we're going to go to subscribers. Now they make this very convenient. Uh, you wouldn't know to go in here and check, but it has the latest, total, and all time, and goals. This is the one that we want. This is going to give us all the options that we need for our subscriber goals. It's the same for followers. You can go down here and add goals for followers, bits, but we're just doing subscribers for today, but you'll be able to do this exact same thing for followers, bits, tips, hosts, raids, and others. So we'll just go through this one here and get the basic idea of how to set them all up. So we just want to click on the subscriber goal, your subscriber goals. And I'm going to move it to the middle just so that we can view it better. I like this a little bit better. This should make it easier for to see what's going on. And now we're given a bunch of options down here on the left hand side. The goals is going to be set to 100 by default. I don't know why because that's unless you're a really big streamer 100 is a lot for like 30 days. So we're just going to click this here down to 5 because this is something I'm going to reset every single day. If you're going to do this once a week you may want this here to be a bigger number. So keep that in mind while you're making your edits here. I'm just going to set this here to 5 as I only want 5 subscribers a day. That's a pretty big number. And the next three options are checkboxes here. You can see percent of completion, you can see a condensed mode, or use a simple design. If you're going to add this to your camera overlay, I suggest a simple design, as it will most likely look better that way, as it'll only be just subscriber goal 0 out of 5, and you'll be able to put it on the top of your camera, or somewhere where you don't want it to hide a lot of information. And I'm going to change the title here to make it shorter and just put sub goal. Everyone's going to know what that is. Now, I like to have the percentage on here and I like it to be condensed. So this is what I like to see when I'm making mine. I find this here looks really, really good and I'm going to make it this big. Uh, you can resize it just by dragging it on the corners. This is going to happen in live time. So if you copy this link and already pasted it, if you make a change here, it will actually happen in your OBS live. So you'll notice it even on stream as well if you make an edit here. So make this so you can see it and so that it'll be easy for you to drag around. And after that there's done, you're going to have your goal end date. Uh, I find this here actually does not matter. It doesn't matter what this here date is set for. Uh, so when it ends, it'll just be when the next one starts. So I have zero out of five because I just reset my data and you'll be able to pick your background color. So it's a uh, blue right now. We'll make it a little darker just so that we can go through this and click select made it a little bit nicer of a blue and your fill color is pink. Okay. We're just going to leave that one and your, pos your position in your text. 
those are the next thing. So after you're done here, make sure this is set up the way you like it. You, you want it to look like this here. We're going to change the text size and fonts and colors in the next little set here. So don't worry about that right now. Just make sure it's in the right spot and that it's got just those few options set the ones that you want. Make sure that's out of the way so you don't have to go back and do it later. Okay, we just clicked on the text settings. Now the text inside here is a secondary text. So the things you do up here are not going to affect your text in here. So if we change the size up here, let's say 27, nothing moved in here because you have to scroll down to where it says secondary text. Now there's not as many things you can do in here. You won't be able to make it super bold or anything like that, but you'll be able to change the size up so that you can see it really good. I think that that looks pretty good to me. Sub goal, 0% perfect. Add a little bit of a shadow so that it splits the white up from the blue with a little bit of a black. I enjoy that. And again, like I said, Maz will go through it here. Take your time to customize it the way you want. Change your colors, pick your fonts. There is some things you can do in here. And you only have to do this once. So you might as well take your time, go through, and be picky with your settings. Change your colors the way you want them. Make sure it's perfect the way you like it because you'll just be able to click a one button reset to change it over and over and over again. So you'll never need to edit this again if you do it and get it out of the way and do it right. All right, after all that's done, we're going to click the save. Now, just for uh, ease of use, you'll want to make sure that you save your overlay with a name that you're actually going to remember. So make sure you use sub goals. I already have one, so I'm going to call this one here Sub Goals 2. All right, that lets you know that it's saved. We're going to copy the URL. And another uh, little disclaimer up here in the settings where it says the end date. Um, I'm not, it does say after the stream ends that it will roll over, but I haven't had that happen. It has an auto reset on me and I do have to reset it every single day if I want this every single day. So if you find that a problem, you might want to just leave it for a week and then reset it like let's say every Saturday and just click the reset button. I'll go through that in a little bit more detail and go through how to reset it and change it. So we're just going to click the save here, copy the overlay and we're going to open OBS and I'll just be back in a second. Okay, once we're in here in OBS, I'm just going to hide the old one there and we're just going to add the new one. We're going to go up here and add a browser source. Now, we probably want to name this in here sub goals as well, just so we can keep our stuff organized. Organization is the key to success and just keep that in mind. So make sure you're, the easier it is to find, the quicker you can do your work, the more efficient you can be, the better. Just make sure you name your things correctly so you can find them easily. So we're just going to name that one sub goals. Now we copied that link and we're gonna paste that link. That link came from this here page right here. If you click that, spam it a bunch of times, that's the link that we paste in here. Now we wanna make the width 1920 and we wanna make the height 1080. We only are changing the width and the height because that is the size that we were editing in the canvas on stream elements. So the page, the canvas that we did for goals two, this was a 1080p. So we want a 1920 by 1080 when we import it because if you change the size and it cuts off part of this year, you'll have to move this around to better fit your screen. So I suggest just putting it in the exact same size as what we made it. So 1920 by 1080 seems to work great for me. Now there's a few things here too, a couple of options, use custom frames, control audio via OBS. I don't think we'll need that. Shut down source when not visible and refresh browser source when becomes active. You may want to refresh the, the browser source when it becomes active. I'm going to click that just for the habit. I don't even know why I've done it. I was told to do it. I, I click it. You can just click next. You don't need to click this here. That's something I always do by habit and click OK. All right, there it is. Now it's not quite centered. That's perfectly fine. You can go onto the website. Like I said, you can move it right here. Click save and it'll move on here. Or at this here time, you can move it like this. If you find that you don't want it to have it with it outside the screen, we can just make it a little bit smaller. So grab one of the corners, make it small. There we go, perfect. Now, now it'll show up here. I'm just gonna leave it right there. We'll make it full size actually so we, so we can see what we're doing. Once that's imported, you're pretty much done. Now we're just gonna go back to stream elements and I'm gonna go over how you can reset it and change the data. We're gonna close that down and open this back up. 
click save, get out of here. So if you close stream elements, just go back to the, the first page, just click stream elements here. In data and reports, it'll say dashboard activity feed. We want to click the activity feed and over here on the right hand side, it's going to give the current session started 17 days ago. You can reset your session, which will reset all of your stuff. We don't want to do that. And there's widget data. We want to click on this here, widget data, and it's going to have labels, goals, session data, totals, just everything that we need is going to be right here in one place. And here's the goals. Now, every single day, you can click the reset goals here. This is very easy. It's pretty convenient. It gets it out of the way and you can just reset your goals. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to reset your goals? And bam, your subscriber count will go from whatever it was down to zero and start over again. And it will just go. Um, so if you have zero out of five and somebody subscribes, it's one out of five. It will be one out of five until someone subscribes or until you reset the data. I haven't had it automatically roll over. It does say when your stream ends, 15 minutes after your stream ends, that it will reset your data for you. But I'm, it's a setting that I'm not quite sure of right here. It says your auto session reset. I haven't had this here work yet. Um, so that might be just a problem with stream elements. It might be something else that I'm doing, but I did find I had that issue with it. So that's something to keep in mind. I did have that issue. So I do have to come in here and reset my goal manually. And you only have to reset it either when you achieve the goal or if you're only doing it every day, if you're resetting it every day, hit the reset every single day. Uh, and if you don't want to go all the way to streamelements.com and you're using OBS, you can download the OBS plugin, obs.live. And you can add this here widget data into your browser. Here is a menu. So we can go through that their process here as well. So I'll download OBS Live and we'll install it. And I'll go through the process to show you how you can access this from your OBS. So if you don't want to open a whole different browser to access this here information, you can install the OBS.Live plugin from Stream Elements. It's a great little handy tool. And I'll show you how to get these options from there. So just hang on for a second while I get this installed. I'll just be a minute. Okay, we're back again here. Now that you've installed uh, OBS.Live, this is if you had OBS already installed, we're right here. I'm, I'm, if you have been following along, we're going to go through this here step by step. Everything I have to do, even including the sign in, I'll just block out some of the password information. When you switch over to OBS Live and install the plugin, you will have to sign into your information again. So you will have to go here and it'll say manage your stream. Click login with your Twitch and type in your user's name and password. I'll just be a minute. Again, uh, same as when you logged in in OBS, it'll ask you for a token. You'll have to request your SMS and make sure that you type in your token as well. And we'll be back again in a second. Okay, once you sign in, it's going to open two Twitch sources. Close them close them down. We don't want nothing to do with that. And this is not showing up the right color. That'll change. I think when I restart, turn on icon mod icons too here, because that turns off each time as well. All right. Now up here, it'll have a stream elements menu. Now this menu is really the only reason I install the stream elements OBS dot live plugin is because it does give you this instead of having to go to the web browser, you can click stream setup and edit with your widget data and it will load up right here so you can click goals and click reset so this will make it easier if you're going to have to do this here every single day this will give you a lot more of that uh, stream labs feel where you have a little bit more of your access a little bit closer to you, some of your stuff so i'm hoping this here will help everyone out get sort it getting into getting their things set up and getting their goals and everything going anyone moving from stream labs i hope this here helps them out quite a bit we're going to close this and then we're going to reopen it. All right. And that fixed our chat issue there as well. Another thing that stream, uh, stream elements.live adds is the activity feed now has the ability in here 
for your stream settings to add your bots and stuff like that. So if you wanted a custom bot, you can click your custom bot name in here and click save as well. So it does add a few other functions that I forgot to mention. The activity feed changes a little bit. It makes it a little bit more bulky and hard to read down through it. So you may need more space for it. So that's something to keep in mind too. I didn't enjoy that very much. I found that kind of annoying because I found it harder to read and see what you actually needed to see. But if you have the space for it, just make it a little bit bigger. It does give you a, quite a few things that you can add to your stream, like your bot, your custom bot, and stuff like that. And a lot of options. Instead of having to go into streamelements.com, go to the website, load up your browser each time, you'll be able to do a lot of that stuff right from here in OBS. So that should make it quite a bit easier to get a lot of stuff done. But I think that's all there is to it, guys. If you think I might have left, forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below and if you like or found this video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching guys